Hey all my LJC family and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, welcome back to my channel family. Welcome back. I just want to thank y'all again for all the love and support. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but I'm going to say it until I can't say it no more. Thank y'all for all the love and support that y'all have been showing me. I love y'all so much. Thanks for all the comments, the negative comments, the positive comments. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. And today is December the 8th. And today's story time with just Jeanette, we are going to be talking about places I've been and places I want to go. And tonight, Y'all, I have me some good old spaghetti. Spaghetti look good, don't it, y'all? Got me some good old spaghetti. And then for my uh, dessert, I have some lemon. Uh, I have some ice lemon vanilla cake with some whipped cream. I thought I had some uh, caramel, but I didn't because I was going to whip my little caramel on top. I'm going to be drinking water tonight. No Big Red, no Dr. Pepper. And I will be having my Kool-Aid jam. Jammers, jam, jammers. And come on, y'all. Let's get into this video. So, basically, I just want to kind of talk about, you know, oh, yeah. And we can't forget about the good old ranch. So, you know, I got to have that ranch on top of, um on top of my spaghetti y'all if y'all hear anything in the background it's the dryer going so sorry if it's interfering with my video but now you gotta wash i'm just getting home from work i'm hungry i've been at work all day i'm hungry i can't eat until i get home because it ain't like i could leave go get something to eat i eat a little bit before i get there but i'm just a snack girl i just always snack 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 and tonight probably for the first time, y'all gonna see me eating probably some food. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But anyway, um, <clears throat> y'all, my nephew, he cannot stand ranch. He, he, <laughs> y'all, my nephew, he talks about us when we, because me, my daughter, my granddaughter, and I think, I think that's it. We put ranch on everything. I don't care what, what it is. We put ranch on everything, and he can't stand it. Ranch don't go on this. Ranch don't go on that. Ranch don't go on this. It'd be so funny. But anyway, uh, places that I have been that I like. Um, I'm really not a travel person. I haven't traveled a lot. Um... But when I have had a chance to go, I went to um, Las Vegas. Man, y'all, that was beautiful. Las Vegas was beautiful. I really enjoyed myself there. I went out there with family. And um, um, it was really nice. I went out there with someone and... My nephew joined us and then some other family members came out. But we really had a good time. We really had a good time. It was no bad vibes. We all got along. Um, we went, I did a video um, on my trip to Las Vegas. I did a video. If y'all haven't seen that video, go watch it. And hit that little like for me, y'all. So, um, it was really fun. We did a lot. It was so different because it was like the first time that I got on the plane, y'all, I thought I was gone. When that plane took off, I, I, I thought I was just gonna explode because my first time being on a plane, the person that I went with, we couldn't sit together because I don't know, I guess the way the, our tickets was, uh, they was, the way the seating was or whatever and how our tickets was, uh, he was able to sit in the front and I sat in the back but the two ladies that I sat with 
they were really, really nice. And he was nice as well because he kept checking on me, making sure I was okay. And, you know, he, he, he was real sweet, you know, when I was on a plane. And, um, you know, I even had a, a lady say, he, he checked on you the whole time, you know. My husband went to sleep, you know. It was just too funny, but he did. He checked on me every time, you know. You okay? You okay? You okay? And I thought that was just so, so sweet of him. And then it was two other ladies that uh was sitting. <coughs> Let me get them all way choked. <clears throat> two other ladies that were sitting on the side of me and they was checking on me too sorry y'all that went down wrong <coughs> yeah that went down the wrong pipe <coughs> Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Your girl was choking, y'all. I don't know what I did. But it went down the wrong pipe or something. But anyway, uh, like I was saying, the two ladies that was on the plane, they was they was nice as well. And um <clears throat> we was all we was all going to Las Vegas. <clears throat> and um we got to Las Vegas and uh, we had to go pick up the rental car. We get off the plane. Oh, we did a lot of walking. Get off the plane, <clears throat> get on the train, go downstairs, pick up our luggage, <laughs> walk here, go get on the bus. Then we went to the rent car rental place and then we headed to our hotel. But I got some garlic knots too. But uh it was it was really nice. The person who took me took me to see a lot. We went to um we went to um I can't think of the name of that museum we went to, but I know we went to the um museum where all the celebrities at um well <clears throat> my mind the clay is it the clay wherever where all of the celebrities at and we got jamie fox and tupac big you know y'all know what i'm talking about y'all y'all have been in vegas a lot of people have been in vegas but he took me there we went to uh, another museum and uh, we've seen a lot of different things there then we went to eat. We went to this really good restaurant. And um it was real nice. Food was very good. We went back probably I think the whole time we was there, we ate at that restaurant. Um we went uh like when we first got there it was cold. We didn't know it was cold because when we left <clears throat> when we left here, it was hot. But when we got there, it was cold. They was telling us on the plane, we hope y'all got your jackets and such and such and such because it's cold. So we get there. We had went. We didn't know where else to go. So we seen a wall. We went to a Walmart. Went and got us some little jackets. And then uh, we went later on that day. Once uh, my nephew got there, we, we seen like a Ross or something. We went to Ross. I don't know what we went to Ross for. We went to Ross to do something. And um, we went uh, when everybody else had got there. We walked the strip. Uh, we went across from where we where we stayed. I think we was at the Flamingo Motel. And we walked across the street to that. I don't. I can't think of what the other motel is, but it was just beautiful. Got them. That had that big old beautiful mall in it. We walked and walked and walked. I didn't think we was gonna ever get done walking. But we had a good time. It was really nice in there. And then another place, let's see, Disney. I think it was Disney World. We went to the one in Florida. 
And that was really nice too. We, oh, we had such a good time down there. I mean, those those memories is just stuck in my mind. But we went we um went to Florida, and we uh stayed in Airbnb. Uh, it was a lot of us. It was a lot of us, and we had already <clears throat> made plans planned out what we was going to do when we got there, how we was going to go. So in Florida, where we was at, um, we wanted to go to this place where it was nothing but food trucks. I, I can't remember what town it was in, what part of Florida it was in, if it was in the same part we was in or whatever. But we went and um, we got we went and got food. Oh, it was so nice. It was just food truck after food truck after food truck. I was confused. I didn't know what I wanted to eat. Then I go and get something that I could have got from a restaurant. I um could have got from a restaurant or something, but it was really nice to go see that. Um they also had like a little room where you can go in and play pool, the kids can uh play games. It was oh, excuse me, it was really nice. And then we went, I think that morning, we all got up and we went to Disney World. Oh man, we had a good time, but it started, it started getting too hot. It started getting too hot. And you know, I was with my kids, grandkids and other people was there. And we, um, you know, it was, we, we had fun. It was fun. I love the little parades they kept doing. A little mini parades every here now, every then and now, or however you want to put it. But that was nice. Then we left. After we um stayed there for a little while, we left and then we went to eat at this one restaurant. It was a soul food restaurant. It was um I can't even think, y'all. But it was a rapper. It was his restaurant. And I tell you, that food there, oh my goodness, oh, dang, who restaurant was that? I don't even know who restaurant is, I'm sorry, y'all, but, because I most definitely, if I could remember, I would show call his name, because his, they, they restaurant was good, uh, they food was, oh man, y'all, but, I was sick at the time, I had a real bad migraine, I was trying to focus, I was trying to enjoy myself. It just seemed like when I ate that food, that good old soul food, like my head was hurting just, just a little bit. And all of a sudden, my head stopped hurting, y'all. I'm telling y'all, that's soul food. But, you know, it, it, didn't, it didn't stop hurting completely, but it hurt it. It wouldn't hurt as bad. So they all was going to get ready to go out. You know, I'm, I'm not the type. I don't go out. I don't do none of that stuff. And I was tempted. I was tempted to do, to want to go. But, you know, hey, I... I wasn't going to do it. <clears throat> peer pressure is, I can't be peer pressure, not at all. Not when it comes to clubs and all that other kind of stuff. But, you know, we was in another state and I just was like, you know, I don't know. But then I stayed with with the grandkids and my uh, great nieces and stuff. And, you know, I stayed back with them. But they went to the mall. They was uh, I stayed in the car with the kids. And uh, they went and got them something to wear. <clears throat> they all go back to the house, get dressed, go out. They had a good time. And uh, they come back. We was at the house. They was playing a game. And uh, it was just too fun. It was it was just too much fun. And then, where else did I go, y'all? I ain't been very many places. So, um, another place where I've been. Here recently, I went to... Um, Oklahoma to the uh, Broken Bow, I think that's what it's called, to the cabins. Oh, man, that was so fun. That was fun, y'all. Um, It was me and my family. We had a wonderful time. That cabin was like a dream to me, something I ain't never been in. Even the, um, in Florida, the Airbnb was nice, but it wasn't as nice as this cabin. This cabin was something I would... I couldn't see myself living there, but just being there, like with family, having like family uh, dinners, family gathering, you know, just doing a lot of family stuff, you know, all kind of events and stuff. I would love to have that cabin 
just to do stuff like that. It was so big. It was so huge. But um, me, y'all can have the big houses and the, the big mansions and all that stuff. Because if I ain't got nobody to live with me, I ain't got, I, I'm not going to be living in no, nowhere by myself. No big, big, big houses like that by myself. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I can barely maintain where I'm at by myself. So, ain't no way in the world I'm going to be living in no big old mansion by myself. But it was really nice, y'all. It was really nice. And I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And, um, y'all, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I haven't been very many places, but I would love to go to New York. I would love to go to the Bush Garden. I would love to go to California, to Disney land I, I don't know i could be getting up too mixed up i would love to go there um i've been to california uh it's been a long long time ago um when my kids were younger i went and i had a really good time went to the beach rode around was showed the different little restaurants Went to the soul food places and ate. Seen the beautiful houses and the person I was with. The per my kid's father, the ones that I was uh, with, you know, his family and them living in these big, nice houses. He took me to, you know, his, I seen his grandmother's house. I seen his mama house, his other grandma house. I just, just seen a lot of his family members' house. And they was all nice. And... You know, he, we drove through, he, you know, drove through Compton and, um, I think his grandmother lived in Hawthorne and his, uh, his mama lived in Los Angeles and we was all over California, but we really did. We had a really good time. Um, where else y'all? We went to that mall and I was just amazed. Like me coming from this little old bitty country town, walking around this little old bitty mall in our town where it don't take you long to get from one end to the next. And I thought that was bad. But when I went to that mall, I'm just like, is we ever going to get done walking? And it just seemed like you didn't even have to walk upstairs. It just seemed like you just gone on and walk you on the next floor. I'm just like, wow, this is crazy. But uh, <clears throat> that was nice. Where else have I been, y'all? Um, I went to... Uh, San Antonio to a, a comedy show. Y'all, that was so funny, that comedy show. Some of them comedies, some of them comedians were funny, but the main, the main event, it was all right, but I ain't gonna even call no names like that, but it was, it was, it was okay. That, that was really nice. I hadn't really, really been to too many concerts, but that one was really nice. And, um, where else have I been, y'all? I haven't been, I haven't really been too many places. Um, and that's sad, y'all, because I'm 47 years old, and I probably can count the places I've been on my hand. So that lets y'all know, <clears throat> your girl ain't been nowhere. Your girl has been in uh, just um, a couple of spots. So if any of y'all out there want to take me, on a vacation, but hey, I gotta trust you. I can't have you taking me nowhere and y'all do stuff to me. Cause I don't trust too many people anyway, but like I say, y'all can give me a little old gift card. You can, you can cash out me or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm trying to think. I just went, we went to a concert here. I don't even want to talk about that concert because it wasn't, it wasn't the the people there at the concert. Especially my girl, Monica. Oh my goodness. Monica killed it. But I was so overwhelmed with what was going on around me. To where my mind wasn't focused no more on the concert 
it was focused on a certain situation and I was my I was mind blown and <clears throat> I couldn't really enjoy myself and that just that just really just blew up in my face. But um trying to see where else have I been? I went with my um daughter to her grandmother. She had a big old 65 uh, her 65th birthday, it was beautiful. It was nice. And that was in Dallas. Uh, it was on a boat. It was at a boat dock, but it was in the inside of a building. It was nice. You can just look out and see the water, see the boats and <clears throat> and all of that. It was beautiful. That was that was, that was really nice. I enjoyed that. Um y'all, I couldn't I can't even tell y'all too many places that I would want to go besides I've been to a uh, I've been to Six Flags, uh, Fiesta, Texas, Six Flags, whatever you want to call it. Um, dang, what's the other one? Um, what's the other water park? I can't even think of the other water park. But one of the water parks, I don't remember which one I went to. I got so sick. <clears throat> and I got sick both times. And that's, and that's sad. I got sick both times going to that water park. But... The last time, the last time, what what is the name of that? Slitterbun. The last time we went, we took the grandkids, and it was really, it it was a a memorable moment, and I really enjoyed um, taking the grandkids and 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 just enjoying the grandkids. Me and my little grand, my little grandbaby. I think she was probably about two or three. We stayed in the shadow part. We stayed over there. And um, <clears throat> my other grandkids, they went on with what they went on and, and enjoyed theyself. And, and, you know, it was a good time to just be with everybody. And, you know, we just we just had fun. We we really we we really had fun. And um, those are things those are times you will never forget. And I'm just trying to think. Yeah. And I, I'm telling you, I, I, both times I went to Slitterbond, I got sick. Um. <clears throat> Where else have I been? Or where else would I like to go? I want to go to Jamaica. I do want to go to Jamaica. I kind of, sort of, I'm not going to say I will and I ain't going to say I won't. I'm kind of confused. I kind of want to go on a cruise. But it's no big deal if I ever go or if I don't because that's not something I'm just really, really interested in because um, I'm not a big fan of all the water and I don't too much care to go stay on no boat. So if I do go, I'll go <clears throat> to enjoy family. But I, I I wouldn't ever feel like I'm missing out if I didn't go. Um, I'm trying to see. I heard Jamaica. Cabo. I'm going to go to Hawaii. Mm. Y'all know another place I want to go? Africa. I want to go to Africa. Um, but I don't want to go. It's not like a vacation. I just want to go to experience some things in Africa, you know? Um... I don't know y'all, but it's a lot of um places that I wanna go. I just can't think of them right now. But I don't too much care for water. I don't too much care to be sliding around in no water on no boat on no jet skis and mm mm. Mm mm. That's just not my thing. Um I would love to go back to Vegas. Yes, y'all. I would love to go back to Vegas. Um, but I want to go to um, the Grand Canyon. I want to go to the Grand Canyon. We were supposed to go. I don't know why we we didn't we didn't make it. But we were supposed to be going to the Grand Canyon. Mm, where else I want to go? I don't know y'all. I don't know y'all, but I know y'all 
and then traveled all over the world. So in the comments down below, drop some places y'all done been. Give me some ideas where I can travel, where I can go, where I can go have fun. Because I don't know, because I'm not the travel person. I'm not the type of person that be like, okay, I'm going to save up to go on this trip. Or I want to go here. I want to go there. I just don't really have big plans on just going nowhere because I'm a homebody. I don't do very much. But I do want to experience life. I do want to get out there and enjoy myself because, like I say, I'm living now. I'm living. So I want to I want to experience a lot of things, you know, even if I have to experience by myself, you know, I'm, I'm ready to do that. I'm ready to go out there and I'm ready to experience it. So if y'all don't mind, just drop it down below some places where I can go that I will enjoy myself. You know, I'm pretty sure I won't be just packing up, going to work by myself. You know, I would, I would always, you know, ask my family and, you know, plan. I would never just jump up and go to work without planning, but Y'all yeah, know, just let just let me know because, like I say, I'm single and I'm ready to enjoy my life. I'm ready to get out there. Y'all, I have missed so much, so much of my life. 47 years old. And, and, and I want y'all to count the places that I told y'all I've been. I'm 47, y'all. So, y'all just let me know some good places to go. Some fun places to go. I don't do theme parks. I would love to take the grandkids there. So if y'all have some good theme parks that I can take them. As far as me hopping on roller coasters and big old water slides and all that. Mm -mm. Not me, but my grand my grandkids. Yes, I would love to take them somewhere like that. But somewhere, you know, that uh, I can enjoy myself, y'all. Because y'all know I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't care to go to clubs or so basically I would need like something, you know, I mean, I will go, but I don't have to engage in drinking and smoking and all that other stuff. I don't have to, I don't have to do none of that. I don't do none of that anyway. So being around it, 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 it doesn't bother me. I could be around people smoking and drinking all day and, and I never, ever, ever get tempted. Never, never have I got tempted. The moment that, um, I had that real bad hangover, and I prayed, and I prayed, and God took that hangover for me. I ain't never drunk none since then. I have tried, but the smell of alcohol, just the, just if, if I'm drinking something and it tastes like alcohol, it ain't got to have alcohol in it. I do not want it. So, you know, I used, I, I used to drink. I used to smoke marijuana. I ain't never smoked cigarettes. I ain't never smoked black and miles. So, um... I never did any of those, none of the vape, and I, I ain't never did none of that. But, you know, like I say, y'all, my LJC family, if it's somewhere y'all know that I would enjoy, because like I say, count the places I've been, I'm 47 years old, and y'all know that just going places, it wasn't a big deal for me. I was just happy being with my family, being with the person I love, and just hanging out you know that was it you know it, it didn't matter nothing mattered to me so i'm ready to live now i'm ready to live my life i'm ready to enjoy myself i know i'm 47 but hey it's never too late it's never too late y'all so family give me some ideas let me know something y'all let me know something just a little something just a little bit of something i'm just saying just let me know something, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all already know this. Y'all already know this. I'm going to keep telling y'all in every video because y'all already know I love y'all. And I thank y'all for all y'all love and support. And like I said, it doesn't matter how many views. It doesn't matter how many likes I get. I am forever going to continue to upload content for y'all because me I know that in on any of these social media platforms I have learned you have to be somebody big you got to know somebody that know somebody that know somebody in order to rise to the top sometimes people go viral just like that 
But I know I'm going to have to work my way up the top because I don't know nobody that know nobody that know nobody. So guess what? It's just me. I'm going to have to do it all by myself. So I'm going to keep working. I'm going to work hard. And hopefully through this process, I can meet somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. And maybe I can get some views. You know, hey, I ain't, you know, God got me. So at the end of the day, I know my blessings is coming. But if y'all made it this far, don't forget to hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time I drop another video. I love y'all all my LJC family. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to, leave a comment. And until next time, all my LJC family, stay blessed.